Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are watching The Big Bang Theory. And this is the 11th episode of the third season. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you like to watch today's full episode, this is available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. So last episode, you know, we had the confirmation that obviously Bernadette and Howard are actually in a relationship moving forward. And it's interesting to see, obviously, I was saying in the outro that we're going to uh, get maybe a different Howard. You know, up to now at this point, he's always been trying to chase the women. He's always been trying to impress. He's always over, you know, basically ed he over egged himself. You know what I mean? He's always going out there. He's trying to do his magic tricks. He's, he's chats as well, doesn't he? He always lies out his teeth so he can actually impress them. And now he's actually got a female on his side. It's going to be interesting to see how he actually changes because no longer can he be that Howard. He's going to have to be the couple Howard. And you've seen last episode that already he's going around, he's introducing everybody. This is my girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. But also he's getting a bit, you know, jealous in certain situations when she wanted to spend time with Leonard, you know, when he was doing his experiment. And speaking about experiments, you know, it's interesting that Bernadette actually has a physics interest. You know, obviously she works at the Cheesecake Factory and with Penny and she's got a common ground with her but she's also got kind of like a common interest with the guys as well because she obviously wants to be part of the physics department when she obviously graduates or moves forward and uh, it's going to be interesting to see her have conversations with them obviously on an intellectual level. Now I was saying again in the last episode that I'd like Penny to get out to a position where she can fully engage with them and have full conversations and understand everything that everybody's talking about without feeling like uh, the third wheel or whatever, the fifth wheel left out. Now she did actually have a couple of lessons from Sheldon last episode learning some physics and she recited this big massive long thing that Sheldon obviously instilled into her uh, to impress Leonard at the end of the episode so that was really interesting to see as well but I can't wait to see what we do in today's episode hopefully you guys enjoy it if you do please smash like it really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> when the Grinch's heart grows three sizes. <laughs> Tears seem appropriate. Enlargement of the heart muscle or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a serious disease which could lead to congestive <laughs> heart failure. I found the Grinch to be a relatable, engaging character. <laughs> and I was really with him right up to the point that he succumbed to social convention and returned the presents and saved Christmas. Just love decorating the Christmas tree. Makes me feel like a little girl again. Mm, in my family, Holidays weren't so much celebrated as studied for their anthropological and psychological implications on human society. <laughs> Did you at least give presents? Mm, in a way. We presented papers. We had a tree, we had a manger, we had an inflatable Santa Claus with plastic reindeer on the front lawn. I insist on decorating a spider-infested fire hazard in my home. I would request that you add this bust of Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> December 25th, 1642 Julian calendar. Sir Isaac Newton is born. Jesus, on the other hand, was actually born in the summer. His birthday was moved to coincide with a traditional pagan holiday that celebrated the winter solstice with Isaac goes at the top of the tree. No, he doesn't. When your mother gets here, she'll talk some sense into you. Ah, oh, no way she come in. What? Your, your mother's coming when? Tomorrow. Obviously, Leonard is concerned that his mother won't approve of you as his mate. Why wouldn't she approve of me? I'm adorable. If it's I can interject again, <laughs> feels that it's doubtful that his mother will be overly impressed with his dating a woman whose most significant achievement is memorizing the Cheesecake Factory menu. But what did she say when you told her we were going out? He's um, not told her. You didn't tell her we were going out, did you? Why huh. not? I'm no expert on meditation, but if you're trying to calm yourself down, <laughs> the word is Thing is, though, right, unless uh, she's actually decent. Like, her, the episode that she was in, actually, with these two together is decent. Do you remember him singing at the end of the karaoke? That was good, that. Um, and she also tried to, um, what is it, like, analyse everybody. She invited Penny out to do a brain scan as well, in her, you know, wherever she she resides now again i'm looking forward to the episode because the last christmas one was really good and obviously it's christmas again and she's here put two two together let's hope it's another banger but again you know unless leonard actually physically needed to say that he was in a relationship with penna then uh, knowing his mom like us as general normal people like most people don't have a parent like his and um she's just going to critique and analyze everything and try and change it and twist it and turn it back into her work so unless it was very much needed I i'm with him in terms of he didn't really need to say but i understand from penny's point of view it probably feels a bit you know like a bit upsetting you know like when he was like you know you know what i introduced me to your friends it's the kind of same scenario flipped in it 
I've been meaning to thank you for your notes on my paper disproving quantum brain dynamic theory. My pleasure. When did you send my mom notes on a paper? Right after her carpal tunnel surgery. Oh, did I thank you for the flowers? You did. I don't really like flowers. <laughs> Neither do I, but it's the social convention. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I just don't understand why he knows more about your life than I do. Well, I would assume it's because Sheldon and I stay in touch due to mutual interest and respect while you avoid me due to unresolved childhood issues. Fine, Mom. How are you? Hmm, menopausal. <laughs> now I'm less fine. I heard your brother has gotten engaged. No, Sheldon, why didn't you tell me? My bad. You must be very happy. Why, I'm not marrying her. <laughs> she said that last time. It's so not my achievements. You? Are you seeing anyone interesting? Well, I'm not sure about interesting, but... Not the time, Sheldon. Although I will point out, Leonard, that I am a trained psychiatrist, and you are exhibiting the same secretive behavioral tics that accompanied your learning to masturbate. <laughs> So, Howard, have you and Rajesh finally summoned the courage to express your latent homosexual feelings towards one another? <laughs> we don't have latent homosexual feelings toward one another. I see. All right. Tell her I have a girlfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, I'll tell her that you've got a girlfriend. That's what I'd say. What are you talking about? Tell her I have a girlfriend. All right. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think your lips in my ear is helping? Actress with the unresolved father issues. Has he finally come to terms with his little slugger growing breasts? Well, oh, yeah. he sent Do me remember. a football and a catcher's mitt for Christmas, so I'm gonna say no. Speaking of fathers, Leonard, that reminds me, I'm divorcing yours, cheating on me. No! Yeah, with some waitress from the university cafeteria. Can you believe it? Sheldon, when did I leave Leonard's father? September 22nd. Oh, yes, that's right. The weekend after Leonard's dog died. Mitzi's dead? I am the one who's getting a divorce. Mitzi is the one who is dead. Why are you the one making a fuss? <laughs> You're right. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm way out of line. The thing is, though, right? I had to... Like, obviously, his parents are getting a divorce, but you'd be, f you'd be fuming with your dad, wouldn't you? Like, honestly, I would struggle, honestly, with keeping in contact with the parent that cheated on the other. So, like, if my mum cheated on my dad... I don't think I could talk to her, and the same vice versa. Like, I just don't understand how they could do that, and obviously, like, absolutely disrupt everything that they've had and built, you know what I mean, the family. Like, how can you just be so selfish and do that? So, like, you know, if I was Leonard, I'd be absolutely pissed with my dad. But I can understand him being upset and slash, you know, angry about never knowing anything that's going on in his life, didn't know his brother was getting engaged, didn't know, obviously, his um, his mum and dad were splitting up, didn't know his dog had died, do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, it's going to Sheldon, he's keeping contact with his mum. Maybe, again, though, you can kind of flip it in terms of Leonard, like, if he's not... If he's not extending some interest towards her, dropping her a text or an email or just having any sort of engagement with her whatsoever, then, you know... I wouldn't say it's his fault, but he's got a little bit to play in it as well. Do you know what I mean? If he wants to stay in contact and know things, he should do an extension out to his mum and show that he actually cares. Thank you for driving me back to my hotel. Oh, it's not a problem. I was going to ask Leonard to do it, but he seemed a bit emotionally unstable, and you don't want someone like that operating heavy machinery. Your check engine light is on. So, uh, you must be devastated about your divorce. Oh, not at all. But I am a bit distressed to be in a vehicle that's not subjected to regular maintenance. Thankfully, my shock was somewhat mitigated by the fact that I haven't had intercourse with him in eight years. I've been responsible for my own orgasm since 1982. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I could use a drink. Do you want to stop for a drink? Oh, I don't drink. I do. I'll teach you. I made tea. I didn't make tea for you. <laughs> <laughs> This is my tea. It's a lousy conversation starter. Oh, is it? We're conversing. Checkmate. <laughs> no, that's not going to work at all. <laughs> Comfort you from over here. <laughs> Just remember, Leonard, where your biological family has failed you, you always have me. You're my surrogate family? If it's any consolation, I'm not happy about it either. Go <sighs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I've been responsible for my own buzz since 2003. I feel a spreading warmth through my extremities. As long as you don't feel it running down your pants, you're fine. She's gonna be steaming later, ain't ya? I'm noticing an immediate lowering of my inhibitions. Hey, Beth, guess what? <sighs> what? I'm sleeping with your son. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> the one from whom I live across the hall. You know, Leonard did not want to tell you we were dating. Really? Which means he's either embarrassed by the relationship or he doesn't care enough about his mother to tell her he's in one. 
You go get a taxi. I'm gonna slip my business card into that busboy's back pocket. What the hell is going on? You're in trouble. Why didn't you tell me you were tapping my homegirl? <laughs> Are you guys drunk? Well, I hope so. Otherwise, why would we have stopped at Del Taco? Because she's uneducated, trapped in a menial service position. How come you didn't tell me you had surgery? How come you didn't tell me my dog died? You want a more intimate mother-son relationship. That is I true. Do. Yeah. She read it correctly, though, didn't she? She did read it correct. There. Man, I bet he sees that as a stride to success. Do you know what I mean? He's probably not had a hug in ages. It's like, you know what? That's a win, that. Why is Leonard softly banging his head against his bedroom door? Speaking of warm feelings. <laughs> Imagine. No, I'd rather have the bus boy. You didn't even engage, he was just like, what? <laughs> they would be decent though. Thank you for taking me to the airport. Sheldon, I do hope you forgive me for my inappropriate behavior last night. I don't blame you. You were intoxicated. I blame Penny. What, what, wait a minute, what are you talking about? What inappropriate behavior? I think it's best that you not know. Agreed. Agreed. What the hell? Agreed. She doesn't have much in the way of career prospects. Don't make her responsible for her own orgasms. La 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 <laughs> la 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 do you know what, we actually didn't even see much of Raj and Howard in today's episode. In fact, we only actually seen them when he was having a conversation about her saying that they was in a relationship together. And obviously he was, he was like, to let her go on, just tell her that I am in a relationship. She's just out of town, you know, her grandmother's died or something. Um, and he was like, yeah, grandmother, you know, but uh, the two episodes that his mum's been in have been really good. I've enjoyed both of them, honestly. She's funny. She just reminds me of another Sheldon, but it's actually good because it's just different, isn't it? Like, you can have the same all the time, but then when you get a taste of something different, you're like, hmm, it's a nice change for once, you know what I mean? And it's her the one that everybody's kind of stressed with and stepping on tiptoes around, and she's the one that's criticising and analysing everybody. And it's also, do you know what I mean? Like, it's good. It's like, you know, you could always have your favourite drink all the time. You might be Coca-Cola, bang, 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 every day having it, you're loving it. But, like, the next day, you know, you might have a Fanta and you'd be like, oh, you know what, it's a good change. It's a good change. I still like the other one, but it's nice to just have something different. And that's what I feel like his mum. It's like, we have Sheldon all the time and we're used to him and he's there and he's doing his friend's head in and he's the one critiquing everybody and analysing them. And then when she steps in, he steps back and then we get the same again. But it's just a different person. And it, obviously, um, it's somebody who's got a connection to Leonard again and it's um you know it's just really good i've enjoyed both episodes that she's in i would like to see um maybe another episode with sheldon's sister in to be honest that was good as well i like that one that she come in um and uh his mum she was good as well she actually had some good morals and merits and she's proper christian though isn't she and, you know she says that she's always going to pray for him and when he went to texas the other day you know they sat down and done a prayer before they ate and i always think the cameos of the parents and the family members are always really good and i wish we'd done them a little bit more i'd love to see well, we're not going to get Howard's mum, are we? I think it's going to be a mystery the whole time. But, like, it'd be so good if uh, if Raj's parents actually come and visited the US. That'd be really good as well. We do see them on the monitor, and I just think they're really funny. So, um, more family members are better, in my opinion. going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. You know, another Christmas episode. Two of them been really good. Two of them with, um, you know, Leonard's mum have been really good as well. And uh, I would love it if we had more of them. Uh, you know... Sometimes we always have just the one episode of them in and out. Maybe we could get a couple. Maybe they stay for the holidays and we get a few episodes with them in because it's always funny. But maybe as well, it's good because it's like when you don't have something all the time and you have it occasionally, do you know what I mean? It's so much better than if you had it every day. So, for example, your favourite takeaway was Indian food and then um, you had it every day, you start to get bored of it. But if you had it once every few weeks or something, you're always excited for when it actually comes, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's the same with these. Because she's not overdone, she's not in it all the time, that when she makes a cameo appearance, you're like, yes, this is going to be a good episode. Do you know what I mean? So, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I like the fact that she got drunk and she had to give Sheldon the kiss, you know what I mean? She was testing it, seeing how it is. Sheldon looked well confused as well. Honestly, he didn't really know what was going on. Penny, you know, addressed the situation. Yeah, we're together. Do you know what I mean? And she kind of accepted it as well, which is really good. You know, she wasn't really judgmental. And she didn't really analyse anybody today as well, which is good. It was just more the situations. And it was kind of about Leonard being upset that she didn't really tell him what was going on in her life. But she was telling Sheldon and he was keeping in touch with her. But then again, it's a two-way street, isn't it? You know, it's not all one alley. She shouldn't have to contact uh, Leonard all the time to give updates on what's going on. He should be engaging and showing an interest in her life as well as she must be with hers. But 
to be fair, she's kind of like over, you know what I mean? She's too in inclusive, if that makes sense. The topics that she talks about is too personal, too deep. And as you've seen Leonard at the end there, he's like, do you know what? I said we should communicate more, but let's just leave it. You know what I mean? I can kind of get where he's coming from as well. So I enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully you guys did too. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like. Really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.